Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and the folks from Pile Audio sent me this sound box splash to review. This is a very, very rugged Bluetooth speaker and I say rugged because this thing weighs, doesn't weigh a ton, but it's a couple pounds. It's really well built. Uh, it's got a metal hook on the top here that you can hang up when you're at the work site or at the beach or something. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, they make it in a, an orange color too, like a bright orange color. So you can have a couple of choices as to how you want it to look. Uh, it's got a nice little rubber shell around it to kind of protect it further. Uh, however, one of the things that I can't get over is the fact that audio only comes out of this side and it's giving me stereo audio. So I'm getting left here and right audio here. Uh, but nothing out of this side. And I'm actually seeing speakers underneath the grill here. So I, I wonder if they're just like passive speakers or what. But I wrote, I reached out to Pyle and said, hey, what's the deal? And, and nobody got back to me after about a week of asking. So, um, you know, I've got a schedule here. I'm just going to run with it. If they do uh, get back to me, I will let you know. But really, you've got to point this end at where the people are because you're not going to get anything out of this side. And then, again, for something you would hang up like this, you would think you'd get sound out of uh, both sides. So if you're expecting that, um, that is what it is. You don't really hear much out of here. Audio quality is okay. You know, it's really hard doing a video review on a Bluetooth speaker because all I'm, you know, all you're hearing is my microphone. So I will say it, it projects pretty well. Uh, the range of sound is okay. It's not the best sounding Bluetooth speaker I've tried, um, but it's certainly adequate enough for outdoor usage. And uh, it's not bad. It's not great either. But you know, a lot of these speakers really aren't designed for audio files anyhow. Uh, there are some buttons on the front. Not enough in my opinion. There's uh, volume up and down and track left up and down are the same buttons. So if you want the volume to change, you just kind of hold it down and it'll change the volume. And if you want to change the track, you push it once. Uh, it does pair up very quickly with my phone. So my iPhone 5S had no problems connecting to it. I also tried some other stuff as well. Uh, very easy to get that paired up and very fast to connect. So that's good. Uh, you can charge it with a uh, USB a plug-in adapter. It doesn't come with one, but you can uh, connect up to a two amp USB uh, uh, AC adapter. So uh, the iPad connector will charge it pretty fast, but it'll also work with slower charging one amp USB connectors as well. It's a micro USB connector in there. Uh, and then if you wanted to uh, connect up a device that doesn't have Bluetooth, you can just open this little uh, thing up here and underneath it is an eighth inch adapter for an auxiliary connection. So, uh, you know, pretty much a run in the mill Bluetooth speaker. I really, really wish it projected audio out of both sides. I think it would be a much more useful outdoor speaker because you'd have a lot more volume in m multiple directions, but uh, it is what it is. So um, there are better ruggedized speakers out there. This one isn't bad, but again, I would have liked audio to come out of both sides. So that is the Pile Soundbox Splash, and this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.